Oh, this is like an arm workout. They're so heavy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, my name is Alex and thank you so, so much for being here. Just a little disclaimer, I am talking at a little bit of a lower volume today. It is just around midnight right now. I thought I was gonna film before dinner, but turns out I just let time get away from me. But as you can see in the title today, I am very excited to be filming this Sephora haul. I've actually never done a Sephora haul on this channel. I've done lots of clothing hauls, like fashion hauls. I definitely did some damage. I went a little bit crazy, but it's fine because it was all worth it and let me tell you I got the goods yeah they literally had to like give me like two bags like ridiculous and if I'm being completely honest I did actually have a lot of gift cards from like Christmas and stuff so, so I'm really excited to try out all this stuff make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and never forget to follow me on all of my socials as well which will also be linked down below and without further ado let's just get straight into the video okay so obviously in the Sephora haul um, I do have a little bit of a mixture of makeup and skincare stuff I'm just gonna do skincare than makeup. Okay, so as I said, we are going to start with skincare. So I do have two serums here that I use every day. They are both from The Ordinary. The first one is the Alpha Arbutin 2% and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And then the other one is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5. First of all, this serum is like everybody's best friend. Everybody always talks about how it's like the best serum. And obviously, if you know anything about, you know, like skincare, Hyaluronic Acid is really good for your skin. It makes it very like plump. It helps with acne. Acne. It just has a lot of really good properties. I do also have pretty sensitive skin and this did not break me out. None of the products that I have tried from The Ordinary have broken me out and I just think that their formulation of their products is also just very clean in terms of its ingredients. So the Alpha Arbutin 2% and Hyaluronic Acid. This is the first serum that I ever used from The Ordinary. I originally started using this because the Hyaluronic Acid again is really good for your skin and this serum specifically, especially because of the Alpha Arbutin, helps with like hyperpigmentation and dark spots which is something that I have struggled with and honestly I think it's really great so I am just really happy with both of the serums and this was just a repurchase so very happy with that also I think it's really worth noting that The Ordinary is very moderately priced like it's very inexpensive and like honestly great quality products in my opinion so I would definitely check them out if you have any skin concerns or even if you just want to like change up your regimen I think that they're really great and it's a really fantastic company okay so the next product is the Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizing cleanser now this is said to be for sensitive skin now I have never really purchased any Kate Somerville products however one of my best friends she uses a lot of their stuff so she just told me that it might be worth looking and given my recent skin condition with my rash and everything if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out it will be linked here given all of that stuff about my rash I actually just wanted to explore any other type of cleansers that might you know help with the condition or might help with my current skin so I did look into this it has amazing reviews and I am just really excited to try this out alright so the next product here is the first aid beauty the coconut water cream. I have heard wonderful things about this. I was a little bit hesitant with the coconut. In my personal experience, when I've used like coconut oil on my face, it has not been a good time. So I was a little bit hesitant just seeing the word coconut, but they do claim that it's for sensitive skin and it's free of artificial fragrance, it's hypoallergenic. So I did want to check this one out. I think that this might be like a nice cream for like a daytime regimen. So maybe like in the morning kind of situation. But yeah, I am really excited about this. I've heard amazing reviews about First Aid Beauty. I have tried a couple of their things, but not recently. I've kind of been out of touch with their products. So I am excited to start up with it again and try this guy. Out. Okay, so the next product is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Now this has been recommended to me in the past and I sort of wanted to try something different and new and this specific product is especially made for when you're like not wearing any makeup, you put a couple of pumps on your face, it's supposed to give you like a nice natural dewy glow, like that like kind of like natural highlight. So I thought with like spring and summer approaching this might be a nice product to incorporate into my routine so that by the time summer comes around I can start using it even more that is the goal. So yeah, I will see how this goes. All right, so the next product I have actually never tried, but everyone and their mother has it. So I had to give it a shot, obviously. And it is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I think that this is just in like the original flavor. Like this is just like the berry one, I think it is. But like I said, everybody and their mother has this. Everyone swears by it. They claim it's a sleeping mask. People just wear it as lip balm. I even see some people like incorporate it into their makeup routine. And I've just wanted to try it for a while. So I am super excited. I have tried 
the Laneige water sleeping mask, which I really, really like. So I've definitely waited a little bit too long on trying this and I'm very excited to. All right, so the next three products are all from the same company. I love this company so much. I use their products every day and I just wanted to try out a few more of their skincare products that I've never tried before. So all three of these products are from the brand Pharmacy. They never disappoint. So the first one is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa, Marin Moringa and Papaya. I think that's how you say it. So I actually purchased this because I saw a girl on TikTok using it and it just made her skin look so fresh and glowy. Power of influencing, oh my goodness. So she swooned me to get this. And again, I think that this would be a really nice like daytime moisturizer, maybe like in the morning. I love that it's oil-free. I love that it's gel. It obviously has a lot of really good extracts and ingredients. And I'm super excited to try this. The next product is a serum actually. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing night serum so again as it said in the title this would be a night serum i am gonna wait a little bit on this to try it though given my antibiotics and creams and stuff but i especially think that maybe going into a new season once my skin starts like adjusting to the new weather this might be something that i would want to incorporate especially into my nighttime routine yeah i'm very excited to try this guy out as well and lastly again from that like honeymoon range we have the honeymoon glow body also with aha and bha resurfacing serum and this is kind of like a body serum so you would kind of put this on like your other limbs so the first serum that i got is for your face this one would be for your body so like after you take a shower after you've exfoliated you would put this serum on like before your moisturizer you would like get into bed and then you would just like you know let it do the work <laughs> i was really intent on looking at like the honeymoon products i actually do use one of pharmacy's masks it's absolutely incredible and i've tried many 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 masks given all of my acne and a lot of masks in my opinion are very gimmicky like oh it'll do this oh it'll do that and it's like very easy to get like wrapped up in all of like the marketing of all like the skincare stuff so but back to what i was saying pharmacy they have like a honey glow mask i kind of forget what it's called i will attach it here or I will link it below somehow I'll make it known what it is I kind of forget the name but it is such an amazing mask it was a little bit more expensive like a little bit above like an average mask price but it works so like I don't mind spending a little bit extra if something works and is effective as opposed to buy something that's a gimmick that does nothing that's like why? Yeah, I'm really hoping that this body serum, along with the other serum for my face, and the oil-free gel moisturizer, I hope that everything works. I'm very confident in pharmacy. I love them as a company, and yeah, I'm very excited to try. Okay, so now that we are through the skincare, let's move on to the makeup aspect of this video. Okay, so first off, I know that normally it's like save the best for last and like the pièce de résistance, but I really can't wait, and I'm just so excited to talk about this. I got the... Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am so excited about this. Literally weeks before the whole 2020 fiasco, I was thinking about purchasing this. And I was like, you know what, like I'll wait a little longer. And then obviously lockdown happened and I just never really got around to it. So I am so excited. Oh, also, I am shade 4. I got someone to help me with that because I'm so bad at shade matching and it's just been on my list for a while so i am so excited to try this okay so next i actually got a couple of free samples what did i just want to like mention here because it's so cute so i got a couple of mascaras this is just the anastasia beverly hills lash brag and then i got the um clinique high impact mascara i don't really know much about the anastasia one but you know i always like trying a good mascara but with the clinique one actually the high impact mascara this is actually the first mascara i ever used like in my life my mom used to buy a lot of clinique makeup and she would get like a lot of gifts with purchase like you know like the department stores like the bay or whatever so I would find so many of these like especially like the mini sizes just like lying around but, yeah when I finally like, got around to like start wearing makeup this was kind of like the only mascara I really had so yeah it was like the first mascara I tried but truth be told I tried it like much later when I was like a little bit more immersed in like beauty and makeup and stuff after I tried a bunch of stuff and this mascara is like really good so <laughs> i've purchased the full size too like it's a really good mascara i highly recommend if you haven't tried okay so next i got like a mini size of the nars creamy concealer in vanilla i was gonna get the full one but i haven't used this in a long time and i've been seeing so many people on tiktok using this that i'm like i kind of want to try it again so i thought that this was like a nice little tiny one plus i think it's a great size just to like throw in your purse like if you're on the go and you need like a little touch up so yeah i think this is like a cute little 
a baby. <laughs> okay, next I got a couple of Nude Sticks products. As some of you guys may know, if you followed me here on my channel for a while, I love Nude Sticks and I love supporting a local Toronto company. So I did just purchase another one of their blush sticks. This is just like the Nudies All Over Face Dewy Color. And I got this one in Cherry Blossom Babe. I actually recently got this for one of my friends' birthdays. She literally came back to me like the day after I gave this to her and she was like, oh my God, I love it. Like I'm wearing it right now. And I was like, oh my God, it looks so nice. Oh my God, do I need another blush? Oh my God, no, but I'm getting it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely like a nice color, especially going into like spring. I feel like it's gonna look beautiful. And the other color that I got is just a nudies matte all over the face bronze color. So obviously this one is gonna be more bronzy. This is just Bondi Bay. So yeah, this is just like a nice everyday bronzy color. I think this is gonna look really nice. I've really been into cream bronzers recently. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's so dry out that I feel like the powder just like sits on your skin. I don't know, I love the way that like the creams just kind of like melt into your skin. It looks so nice. I hope that it really looks good on the face. Okay, so next is another product that I have never tried. There are so many products in this video that like I've literally never tried. But yeah, this is the one, the only, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. So yeah, again, this is definitely one of those everyone and their mother has it products. I have definitely put this off for long enough. I have kind of been into wearing a little bit more lip liner recently. I don't know why. I'm normally a very like simple lip gloss kind of gal, but also everyone always tells me like, oh my God, your lips are so nice. Oh my God, they're beautiful. Why don't you wear lipstick more often? Truth be told, I've never had any work done, period. And people think I'm lying about my lips, but nope, I've never got my lips done. It's like that girl lip liner, you know? I had to have it, I had to have it. So yeah, I'm excited to try. And now for the last two products of this video, this to me is the True Pièce de Résistance. I purchased two liquid blushes from Rare Beauty. So the first one is the Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in Joy. So it's a little bit more of like a peachy coral color. And then the other one is the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush, which is in Bliss. And Bliss is just gonna be like kind of like your like lighter, pinky, kind of like classic blush color. So obviously the two blushes have different formulations. Originally, I was only gonna get Bliss. Like I only wanted the pink one because I saw a couple of people on TikTok talking about it and how amazing it was. But then when I went on online I started watching some of the reviews about the blushes and people who had been either sent the whole product range or they purchased all the blushes themselves and Joy just looked absolutely beautiful along with Bliss so I was like I kind of just want to try both because who needs another blush? Not me, but whatever. So yeah, Joy is gonna be a little bit dewier, so it's like not gonna completely dry down. Whereas like the matte is gonna be obviously matte, like it says. Also just a little tip, if you are looking to purchase these in Toronto, and you see one and you're kind of on the fence, buy it. Because these were so hard to find. They are so in demand. Bliss, I went to three different stores and they didn't have it. So I had to order it as like a same day delivery. Like in demand. Joy, fortunately, was at the first store that I went to, but the other two were sold out of it. And if I'm being completely honest, I wanted to buy one of the highlights as well but those ones were completely sold out of like the shades that would have worked for me. So I was like, okay, never mind. Probably a sign. But yeah, on a serious note, I am really excited to try these out. I think that they're gonna look amazing spring, summer, winter, fall, whatever. I just think that like blush is so beautiful. It just brings so much life to your face. And I've only tried out one other thing from Rare Beauty and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to try these out. So yeah, that is all I have for today's haul, guys. I'm like, that's all I have. Oh my god, I spent so much money. <laughs> but honestly, no regrets. I am literally so excited to try all of this stuff. Actually, if you guys would like a first impressions video of me trying this makeup out, comment that down below because I would be so game for that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below for future videos. Also, comment down below if you guys have tried any of these products, what your thoughts are on them, etc, etc. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials, like Instagram and TikTok, which will be linked down below as well. And yeah, otherwise, I think that that is all I have for you guys today. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!